Hello. In this session, what I'd like to look at is the learning of BSL, and this can be quite a sensitive topic to talk about, but it's something that's based on my experience of dealing with this. And I have to be quite honest with you. There are hearing people out there, or those who are deaf but can't sign, or those who are hard of hearing, and again, don't sign, whoever they might be, and they make contact with me and say, I'd like to learn sign language, which is great. No, not a problem at all. However, what, what I don't like is when people say, I just want to do it as a fast track. I want to do my level one and then do all my levels and just get qualified. Now, for me, to learn BSL effectively takes time. When you look out there at qualified interpreters, most of those are fluent in the language. I mean, their voiceover is good. And, and so uh, not all interpreters uh, will have that level of skill when it comes to voiceover. It can really vary from interpreter to interpreter. But anyway, most of them will have a good level of BSL usage. And that's taking them seven to 10 years to develop those skills, to become fluent. They've learned the language of deaf people, They've learned how to voice over from BSL into English. They've learned how to go from English into BSL. And so when a deaf person's signing, that interpreter needs the ability to reflect what they're saying in the correct way. So for example, some interpreters will actually overly enhance the level of language that a deaf person has, which can be misleading to the person listening to the interpreter. Because they might see from the deaf person's writing, you know, academically, they're not quite there. So the, the interpreter's not reflected that well. And that, you achieve that through appropriate training, how to really match the level of language that's being used by a deaf person. Because that can vary. I mean, someone who's professionally deaf um, would, you know, would be using language at a particular level. But those who aren't, again, will be using a certain level of language, and that should be reflected. Now, for those who are learning sign language, when they say, I just want to get through my levels, you know, it's a fast track option, I just want to get through them, that's really not going to be the most helpful way. Because if you, if you just speed through your qualifications, just become an interpreter, you're going to miss out. You're going to miss out on, on deaf culture, really understanding what it means to empathise with a deaf person, to understand the deaf community and the deaf world. And that could lead to real problems. You know, for some interpreters, yeah, I mean, you might get there and start earning money out of that. But is that what is, is important? Surely this is about providing an accurate translation at the right standard. So deaf people then feel comfortable and confident in what they're receiving from the interpreter, which ultimately is going to reduce um, misinformation then it doesn't lead to communication breakdown as well, that things just go well. Because that means that people in the deaf community are going to suffer less as a result. So if you wanted to just get through your qualifications, I mean, I know some people will do it in like four years, but at the end, people are worse off. Not the hearing people learning sign language, but the deaf people who are, reci are recipients of, of that. Um, because there isn't that understanding of, of their lives and that who they are as deaf people, that there, there is a lack of understanding around that. And that can really affect people. You know, deaf people, they know which interpreters are which. And there's a lot of things being said about some interpreters as a result. And that's dangerous. And so for me, you know, I'm really happy to encourage the teaching of sign language, absolutely. But we need to take the right approach. Because if you take that right approach, what you're wanting to achieve ultimately will give you the right return. If not, you're going to find real problems. And so I'm hoping that you can understand my point in this video. If for those who are wanting to learn sign language, it takes time. And so what's important is that there is a respect that's afforded to deaf people and their culture. That's really important. So thank you for watching. Farewell for now.